Okay guys, so we're gonna do diaper cakes. So these are cake pans, um, the disposable ones, and then these are paper towel rolls. And all I did for both of them to kind of prep them was, all I did was do both of them so that they're ready to go. I bought one big box of diapers from Target. Target. So, what I'm thinking is I'll do one, these two will be for this one. I'll do one square for the top, one and then like half a square for the middle and then the rest for the bottom. Now, people do them different ways and you do however you wanna do it. Um, so we're probably gonna do this bunch, this bunch, and then at least half for the bottom. Okay. Wait, let me think. Well, give me a couple more. Yeah, probably a little bit more. Okay, so some people take the diaper like this and they kind of roll them up and then they tie them and then they put them in a circle. I don't do that. When I learned how to do them, um, I did a fanning method, which seems like a lot more work but it's a lot easier. So I just take the diapers. Now, it can be a little tricky. I might even fuss at my husband why we do this. I'm using size one, or no, what am I using? I'm using size one. So all I wanna do is I wanna start pushing them around. And what I'll actually have him do, I need you to come and tie this for me. Come over here. Because you have to get them. Yeah, put those in there too. Put these around like this. Now, this is where it takes two people. I need you to take this around. No, don't push it yet. This is the hard part, it takes two people. All we're gonna do is tie this, and you might have to do it tighter in just a second. So we're gonna take this as tight as we can. It looks off center, yes I know. We're gonna move them around, and we're just gonna kind of do this in a bow, this first one. Okay, now it looks really off, right? Now, all we're going to do is slowly start pulling them and turning them. So let me see if I can pull it this way and cut this off. So it'll, it'll, I promise you it'll balance out because you're, you're trying to make a, um, you just start pulling the diaper around to make a fan look and you want to kind of spread it out you can see what I'm doing. See how I just start pulling the diaper and kind of fanning them around. And actually, these will go in like this. So yeah, all I do is start pulling and tugging them and rearranging them. And all the, the wire's job is for is to see some of these actually need to come out. I put a few more. And what I'll do is interweave some this way. So all I'm doing, if you can see, is making it look kind of like a tiered cake. Once it's the shape that I want, then I will readjust it to see it moves. So I'm gonna wrap it around. You just keep playing with it, just like you would with a floral piece or anything like that. We're just gonna adjust this, pull, tighten, pull, tighten. And it doesn't really matter. See, and because my band's moving, I can do 
things like this too. And there's always a back side, so this will be my my back side. But see, I'm just gonna make it so that these are, I can tuck these in more, and I can also pull them out more. And I can change my shape. And actually what I'll do is I will tighten them and loosen them based on kind of how it flows. Now, sometimes you'll get too many in there, and you'll need to take them to push them out and make this in the middle. You just kind of tuck them, especially when you want your, your flow a little bit different. So what I'll do is I'll just take one diaper here because I don't want too many, and I'll just let it flow. Because ultimately, you know what's happening here? Oh, I made a murky mistake. These have to go this way so that they're all the same direction. That's what's happened here. I want them all going the same direction. And I actually need them all like this. I need to tuck these this way but with having this rope tied I'm able to as you see just kind of add diapers in has been scratching his head because this is not the fun part it takes a little bit I have not done this one of these now I want to also form it out so on one side we have to kind of, this has to stay in the middle. We have to put some around the center because we're expanding it. And one time, I have plenty, I've done rubber bands as the middle. I promise this is gonna look very cute when we're done, but this forces everything out. I'm just gonna keep it flat. So now I'm gonna go by, now that this is getting tighter, I'm gonna fix this. It's all a game of like moving it around. Some people are like, oh, it's too much work. Well, you know, it's, it's what you wanna put into somebody's gift. That counts, you know? They don't always remember what you get, but they remember what you, um, what you put into it, what you did nice for them. So we're gonna speed this up a little bit and show you how it goes. Okay, so this is where you would speed it up. See? I didn't understand what the heck you were doing until you started pulling that. You understand now? Now it's starting to look like something. You're just evening out the lines. Mm -hmm. So I need another diaper. Like you all that you needed for the bottom now. Mm -hmm. You didn't think they were all going to fit, did you? I didn't think it was going to work. I thought it was going to mess up in the, in the bottom. But, again, I've never done this before, so I've never seen it done before. It's a lot of work to do that. Uh -oh. You've been lining them up. You've been, like, every so, you know. Fluffing it out. Yeah, making it look like a ripple. The middle's starting to come up. Mm, it kind of can be tucked back in. You're just kind of like evening. You see all these out?
there we go so that is a three-tier diaper cake so what we're gonna do oh my thing's moving is um, don't worry if this is we're gonna be stuffing this and you'll see so I keep this in and this is one and I have a hole if I want to stuff extra stuff down it um, but yeah this is number one and we're gonna go ahead and do number two Okay guys, so now it's the fun part. Now you decorate it. So I leave this piece here, and then when they wanna take it apart, it's like clip, 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 and then it's all good. And I straight pin things just because um, I don't want like to ruin any of the product, and a straight pin really is not gonna do that. So all I do is straight pin it right into the diaper. I just tell them to beware the diaper. I'm gonna overlap this just a little bit. And then this one I can actually pin into the other piece. nails cut off tomorrow we went on vacation and I kept them longer and it's just too much some people can work with nails but I just can't and then I'll come over here and I will just kind of tack this in that's all I use is straight pins like I said I don't I don't want um I want it to be able to come out easily and then define them easily. So I don't use tape or anything. I just want that to hold. And I can't put it in with my nails. I just want it to sit in a certain spot. All you're gonna do here, oh, just go like with whatever feels good, you know, and just kind of like pin this in to kind of attach Mr. Bear. So all we're doing, guys, is we're just having fun with different textures. Like this one has two. This one we're doing a little bit more, um, but yeah, it's just, like, just kind of get creative, mix things around. As long as your pen will go through it, or you can tie it off. You see, not everything has to be, like, broad or just, you want some things and you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like this did not look good this looks terrible just give yourself a little bit of grace and just keep going because everything no I don't want that up I want that down everything everything can be changed or rearranged because remember you're just pinning this you're not gluing this um, and just, you know, just like I said, just keep going and eventually you'll like it. That's my philosophy on it. And so, 
one more pin in here and it meets up and everything that's like cut like this you can always take and put a flower too and I'll show you what we do with that so this is how these are started and it doesn't matter if things are off because again, you are rearranging stuff. I see the beads before they go full. Oh, I might. I'm gonna try to burn the end off of that. Can you, it's can you. Polyester it'll. And can you, so I can have another rope of it? Yeah. Let's see Thanks. if I can make that. Um, let's put this Mr. Bear up. Okay. And see, so you're just, gonna drape him. I just kind of want to drape like this. I really want him to. I need to play with him a little bit. He not wanting to cooperate. And I'm down. And sometimes you don't like. I'll be like, Ugh, I don't want that there. And he'll just, he'll just take on a mind of their own. Look at you being all creative, babe. So, so far, this is what they're looking like. Cute, right? Now, let's pick out the, um... We have other stuff. No, let's just do the flowers, because I think they're looking cute, and we don't want to over-accessorize them. Okay, hand me the big brown ones first, all right, please. Give me a second, I'm going to so we went to Hobby Lobby and we got these. That is so we have the first diaper cake a little bit different and then we have the second one with the beading and that's just it that's what we'll do they're kind of like a Victoria type theme and um, we'll take those in for tomorrow so thanks for doing those with us and have a great day